For this first assignment, I want you to find something that is rectangular in shape, that has a length, a width, and a height that you can measure with a ruler. We'll be using the centimeter side of the ruler, this side here, marked from 0 to 30. You will need a ruler to do this, or you may be able to do this on your smartphone using a, a measuring app. But you're to measure, say, the length. This one has a length of about 7.5 centimeters, maybe 7.6. The width, the width of this is about 6 centimeters. And the height, a height of 2.5 centimeters. So we're using the centimeter side in this class, not the inches side. And as you heard, there'll be numbers with a decimal. For this assignment, your task will be simply to write down the length, width, and height of your whatever rectangular object you found. Multiply those numbers. So length times width times the height is the volume in cubic centimeters. And that will give us the volume of whatever object you've picked. Make sure it's rectangular in shape, as this soap is on the inside of that box. Then... To put this in the Google Sheets document. There'll be a blank document in the assignment. And you can then submit that through Schoology. Our goal today being to get used to using Google Docs and submitting things in through Schoology using Google Docs. And I'll cover that in the second part of this. For this first assignment, if you don't have a ruler, you can use a ruler app such as the one here which will be linked below. To use this, you will need to tap on the screen and click on the three dot menu and calibrate it and use either a ruler, a credit card, or a coin to calibrate it. This one's already been calibrated and now I measure from the corner here, the zero, zero corner, I can measure. Also, you'll note that I've set this to be in the units of centimeters, which is what I want for this assignment. So for this particular first assignment, it's possible to use your your cell phone is a measuring device with a measuring app. Some cell phones actually have a measuring app already installed on them. I'll go ahead and open up Schoology. I'm working on this video in the summer and I don't yet have the fall courses, so I'm going to borrow my 150 statistics course. But the idea is the same. You'll open up your physical science course and in 01, Unit 1 on measurement and density, you'll see the 011 measurement assignment as you see here. You will have a description like this telling you what to do, and if you click, it'll open up the document that you're working on in the app. You may have a My Document here that you need to click on, and if you can't see it, you click on the right side to link it. Uh, but well, either here below or on the right in a my document you'll be able to get at the document and when you do what you'll see and I'll open up is a blank document I'll do it this way you'll actually have a document provided to you through Schoology and in this document simply type the length and the length uh, we'll go ahead and use a 7.6 centimeter length a width of six centimeters. Don't forget the units. Put down six, we'll call it 6.0 centimeters. And a height of 2.5 centimeters. Last, we want the volume. You can use a calculator to calculate the volume. I've got a calculator here. 7.6 times 6 times 2.5 is 114. So I'll go back to here and type in 114 cubic centimeters this time. Cubic centimeters. With that, I can press check and I can return to, to Schoology back here where there should be a submit button for you to submit that assignment inside Schoology uh, from either the desk, uh, from your... Um, smartphone or if you're working on a desktop or laptop there'll be a submit button at the top of the document.